from feeling like he could get better at everything in his career to returning to the Hornets without a huge contract, here's the rise and fall of Miles Bridges. To kick things off, he entered the NBA in 2018 when he was selected 12th overall by the Los Angeles Clippers. But he was traded to the Hornets on draft night. He signed on with them for four years for $16.3 million in July 2018. 2021 was the year Miles proved just how good he was. He'd almost started the 2019 and 2020 campaign, but when the Hornets acquired Gordon Hayward from free agency, Bridges was sidelined a little. He didn't let that phase him one bit though. Instead, he made one of the biggest leaps of any Charlotte player in the 2020 to 2021 season. Out of his 66 appearances, 19 were starts and he managed to average 12.7 points. He also demonstrated career highs in rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks that year. Also, one of the more noticeable things was just how improved his shooting efficiency was. He connected 50.3% from the field, 40% from three points, and 86.7% from the free throw line. Though he was primarily being used as a small ball four, Miles racked up 19.7 points on 51.8% shooting, three assists, and 6.9 rebounds in 16 outings from April 4th to May 2nd, 2021. While Hayward was injured and Bridges was playing in his place, when asked how he was gonna build on such a great season, the Michigan-born star shared he felt like he could get better at everything. Fast forward to 2022 and Miles was only getting better. In his fourth season with the Charlotte Hornets, he especially shined as one of the team's leaders off court and in the locker room too. His versatility was on full display. He was among the 13 NBA players who'd appeared in at least 80 games that season. Bridges was doing great on the court too. He led his team in scoring with a career high 20.2 points. He also put up his personal best in rebounding, assists, steals, and blocks. He'd upped his field goal percentage to 53%. Talking about his improvements, he said that he would have liked it better if they'd made it to the playoffs, but he'd been working on getting better. He called it a growth year, and his goal was to keep at it. Miles made it to the NBA All-Star and Most Improved Player conversations too. He also received the team's Rick Bonnell Award, which is presented to the player who does the best job of representing himself and the franchise. It meant that his professionalism and cooperation were being highlighted by the team. Also, since the season concluded his initial agreement with the Hornets, he headed into the offseason in 2022 as a restricted free agent, meaning that the franchise could match any offers that came his way. It was an exciting time. But then things kind of went off the rails and Bridges got arrested. This time he was in the news and it didn't have anything to do with basketball. On June 29th, 2022, he was arrested for allegedly injuring a woman during a physical dispute. It had been an argument from the day before that had gotten ugly and physical. At the time, the NBA star turned himself in to the Los Angeles Police Department and was charged with a domestic violence felony. Soon after, his partner, Michelle Johnson, shared the brutal images of her injuries that had been the cause of the whole incident. The accusation was that he'd assaulted his girlfriend in front of their two children. The player was released on a $130,000 bond, but pleaded no contest to the domestic violence charge. This meant that he accepted the punishment, but didn't admit that he was guilty. The LA County DA, George Cascon's office, had filed three felony charges against the player. Initially, he'd pled not guilty to all of them. Later on, Bridges' attorney and the DA's office agreed and it was decided that if Miles pled no contest to the count of injuring a child's parent, the other two would be dismissed. The two dismissed counts included charges of child abuse under conditions that could cause bodily injury or death. Man, that's serious stuff. The July 2022 release from the DA's office said that the children had been present during the assault, but didn't specify what happened that led to the charges of child abuse. As per the agreement, Bridges had to take his penalty. He was sentenced to three years of probation. 
Plus, he had to complete domestic violence counseling for 52 weeks and had to take parenting classes for that duration too. Also, his service included 100 hours of community service and a weekly narcotics testing. What's more, he couldn't have any weapons and ammunition. He also got slapped with a restitution fine worth $300 and a domestic violence fine of $500. On top of all of this, Miles had to obey a protective order for 10 years, meaning he couldn't get closer than 100 yards to the woman who he also couldn't have any contact with. The DA's office released a statement that said that the agreement was the best resolution, so Miles could be held responsible for what had happened. They also added that Bridges' girlfriend had wanted the case to be wrapped up quickly and that she and her team were consulted before drawing up the outcome. Now, when all of this was concluded, Miles was still unsigned. But because he'd pled no contest, even if a team wanted to sign him, the NBA could suspend, dismiss, fine, or disqualify him from the league. This license comes from the collective bargaining agreement. The league took its time, though, and shared that they were reviewing the case. After gathering their information, the NBA released its decision on Bridges, on April 14th, 2023, the league suspended him for a total of 30 games without pay. But there was a catch. Bridges had already missed all of the 2022 to 2023 campaigns because he didn't sign a contract as a restricted free agent. Also, the Hornets had offered him a $7.9 million contract before the season he missed. But both sides had decided to let the offer expire as they waited for Miles' legal situation to play out. As a result of all that, the 30-game suspension was effectively a 10-game suspension because the league said that the rest of it had already been served. The fans had a mixed reaction to this. When Sham Shinaria tweeted about it, the Twitterverse reacted. Some were happy that Miles was being held responsible, while others thought that they were letting him go easy. One user said that a 10-game suspension was way too soft, while another user was surprised that he wasn't in jail. Some even pointed out that many others had gotten longer suspensions for drug use and tampering. And they hadn't even been violent. Things got so heated that the NBA commissioner had to step in. Adam Silver said that the league had an agreement with Miles about not playing in the 2022 to 2023 season. And so striking off 20 games from the suspension had felt like the right thing to do. This might have been true, but it's still odd. Because as The Times noted, Miles visited a Hornets game during the season and he got a pretty warm welcome. If there was an agreement to keep him out, what was that? Also, Kathy Behrens, NBA's president of social responsibility and player programs, shared that it was one of the harshest punishments dished out for a domestic violence case, and also added that before the player could return, he had to prove himself. Still, the fans weren't convinced. On June 14th, 2023, Miles must have been feeling confident because he tweeted that he might be back soon. And the reactions were interesting, with many people saying that he should be returning to prison. Still, after the absence, Miles is all set for a return. He's gonna be back with the Charlotte Hornets, but it's not with a huge contract. He signed a $7.9 million qualifying offer to stay with the team, but will have to miss the first 10 games of the 2023 to 2024 season. No matter how you look at it, it seems to be the right deal for both sides. Speaking only from a basketball perspective, it gives the Hornets their leading scorer and rebounder. It isn't too risky, because it's only for a year, and the price isn't too high. But the open end of it all is Miles. The way he behaves off the court will be important, and everybody's gonna be watching. He apologized for the embarrassment, pain, and disappointment he's caused, and has used the time away to become a better person. Meanwhile, his team's gonna be counting on him. Mitch Kupchak, the president of basketball operations and general manager, said that they'd been very careful with bringing Miles back, and the legal side and Bridges' commitment was important to them. So from returning to the Hornets without a huge contract, to feeling like he could get better at everything in his career, that was the rise and fall of Miles Bridges.